डायरेक्टर ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश श्री वाई एस जगनमोहन रेड्डी जी रेस्पेक्टेड इंडियन मिनिस्टर फॉर कल्चर टूरिज्म एंड डोनर माय कॉलेग इन द काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया श्री जी किशन रेड्डी जी मिनिस्टर फॉर इंडस्ट्रीज गवर्नमेंट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश श्री गुडिवारा अमरनाथ जी चीफ सेक्रेटरी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश डॉक्टर के एस जनाहा रेड्डी जी डिग्नेटरीज श्री गजानन नबार जी श्री विनीत मिताल जी श्री सत्यनारायण शाबाजी डॉक्टर भी के बंदी जी श्री अनिल कुमार सलामाला सेट्टी जी श्री संथनाम बी जी श्री सरजिया ली जी श्री एस एस क्रिस्टन सेंस जी श्री राजनीश मंदानन वाला जी श्री सतीश रेड्डी जी श्रीमती सुचित्रा ई एल्ला जी लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन माय डियर माय डियर फ्रेंड्स today i am honored amidst of you my presence and for this i am grateful to the people of andhra pradesh government of andhra pradesh for their kind invitation today i am very happy to once again come to the glorious state of andhra pradesh and the vibrant city of visakhapatnam visakhapatnam is a very special city of our nation it was an important port in ancient india with a rich history of trade and commerce since thousands of years international trade was carried through visakhapatnam port with distant region up to western asia and even up to rome even today visakhapatnam remains the focal point of india's trade recently honorable prime minister sir narendra modi ji visited Visakhapatnam and launch project worth more than rupees 10000 crores to fulfill the aspiration of Andhra Pradesh and Visakhapatnam this is came along with these various other transformational program of our honorable prime ministers have taken the development journey of Andhra Pradesh to a new height the people of Andhra Pradesh are special they are very affectionate and hard working they are globally showcasing their unique talent and distinct identity in every field whether it be education or business technology or medical profession sports or arts telugu speaking people are always in search for excellence wherever they go this is the power of the people of andhra pradesh <laughs> honorable prime ministers and all of us in the government are always closely associated with the speedy development of andhra pradesh our love and dedication for andhra is supreme in azadi ka amrit kal the country is moving first 
on the path of development with the goal of a developed India through creation of modern infrastructure. Our Honorable Prime Minister's vision is to ensure inclusive development and growth by developing our ports, railways, highways to enhance supply chain and reduce logistic cost. The Prime Minister's Gati Shakti plan has not only accelerated the pace of infrastructure development, but has also reduced the cost of projects. Multi-model transport system is the future of logistic under Pradesh, and its coastal region will move ahead in this race for development with a new momentum. I congratulate the state government of Andhra Pradesh for organizing this mega event in the sports city. As per the latest economic survey, India received the highest ever FDI inflows of $84.8 billion in service during the financial year 2022. This is a result of the government investor-friendly FDI policy under the dynamic leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. As a result of the transformational and visionary leadership of Honorable Prime Ministers, India has, in the last nine years, leaped ahead in all development indications. Thirty-seven kilometers per day highway constructed in 2021. 99,000 crores worth Sagramala project completed. 79% increase in cargo handling capacity since 2014. Highest ever Mercedes export at $421 billion in financial year 2022. 70,000 plus recognized startup, 100 unicorn created. So these are the transformational changes the people have witnessed in the country. India continues to open up its sectors to global investors by raising the investment limits, removing regulatory barriers, developing infrastructure, and improving the business environment. Despite global uncertainties, Indian economy remains healthy. India will continue to attract foreign investors in the coming years, as well on account of radical measures taken by our Honorable Prime Minister, such as PLI scheme, ease of doing business, and projection of healthy economic growth. The Indian ports have to gear up for the raging demands for port service due to various schemes implemented by visionary Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. Under the Prime Minister's flagship initiative of Sagarmala, more than 110 projects worth around Rs. 1.1 lakh crore have been identified for implementation in the state of Andhra Pradesh, of which 35 projects worth of Rs. 32,000 crores have already been completed. 14 projects worth of Rs. 2,500 crores are being financially supported under Sagramala scheme. These projects are focused on Roro and passenger jetties, fishing harbour, port modernization, skill development of these five projects worth of rupees 740 crores have already been completed. For upliftment of fishermen, community, five fishing harbour projects worth of rupees 1,500 crores have been sanctioned for funding under Sagamala program. As far as Visakhapatam port is concerned, it has shown a healthy cargo growth of over 7.5% in this financial year. Following the direction from the ministry, the port is in the process of transforming as landlord ports. Already JNPA become completely landlord port in 2022. Other major ports shall also follow and comply by 2030. These are six projects operating in the Visakhapatnam ports, four BART 
have been awarded in January 23 with an investment of rupees 658 crores and another six baht and a hospital project through PPP moot are in pipeline with an investment potential of rupees 1,250 crores. Completion of this project will increase the port's capacity by about 37 million ton per annum. Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways jointly with Ministry of Fishing is upgrading the fishing harbor all over India to international standard. 31 of which shall be developed under Sagarmala and Pradhan Mantri Maitya Sampada Yojana. The fishing harbor at Vishakhapattam is being upgraded at a cost of rupees 151 crores. This will improve the quality of life of the local fishing community. The Vishakhapattam port is nearing completions of the construction of international cruise terminal with an investment of rupees 97 crores and likely to commence by April 23. I am confident that the Vijak port and AP state government will work closely in utilizing the developed facilities and also to develop tourism circuit which will boost tourism potential of this region. In Vishakhapattam, the Ministry of Port Shipping Waterways has set up Center of Excellence in Maritime and Shipbuilding, a first of its kind in Asia, with 18 laboratories with an aim to bridge the skill gap between the academics and industry requirement at Indian Maritime University campus at Vishakhapattam. SAMS is equipping students with employable engineering technical skill in the area of ship hull design, ship detail design, ship building and maintenance, repair and overall product, life cycle management and advanced digital manufacturing factory concept. The institute carries out more than 50 courses and has provided certification more than 7,000 candidates. So these are the opportunity created through this institution so that like millions of <coughs> youth can like, have their employment opportunity on income generation and entrepreneurship. The government under the visionary leadership of Prime Minister Sinanda Modiji, the PM Gati Shakti has brought various line ministries closer to work together resulting in faster result in achieving the goals and has yielded benefit to the public at large. Sapka Saat Sapka Vikas through Sapka Prayas will benefit all section of the people of India and make India march ahead to become the superpower of the world in Amrit Kal. The sea has been a source of wealth and prosperity for India for centuries and our coast have served as gateway to this prosperity. Today, project worth thousands of crores of rupees are underway in the country for port-led development. Today, India of the 21st century is implementing the idea of holistic development of coastal district. I am sure Andhra Pradesh will continue to play a crucial role in this campaign of development for the country. I once again congratulate the government of Andhra Pradesh for successfully holding the Advantage Andhra Pradesh Global Investor Summit 2023 at Vishakhapattam and looking forward to a fruitful investor engagement this year. With this, I want to conclude, but I want to, before concluding my speech, just I want to uh, just pronounce one line. Please correct me. This is my feelings. Bishakha Pattamu Sala Anda Maina Pradeshumu. Yaneki, this city is such a beautiful city which could draw the attention of everybody, whoever visits. So this is the gift of God. I believe the people of Andhra Pradesh 
is lucky enough to have this kind of beautiful cities around. I am confident that to make India self-reliant by 2047, as per the vision set by our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Andhra Pradesh is going to play a very, very important role tomorrow. With these few words, I conclude. Jai Hind! Thank you, Honorable Minister, for that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very interesting session now. Uh, the Honorable Chief Minister will virtually be inaugurating some industrial units. We spoke a lot about technology and how well Andhra Pradesh is using it. Uh, the Honorable Chief Minister, sir, will be uh, virtually inaugurating some... There are 14 units that, sir, will be inaugurating a total investment of 3,845 crore rupees, providing employment to more than 9,000...